Hello, hello everybody, hi audience. How is everybody today? Everybody in the house is away. Now I get the dog. I have the dog now, I have the power. <laughs> oh, but yes, how's everybody today? How are you, Tom Stream? I know Quidditch. I, I want to play Quidditch. I want to play Quidditch, but in real life. Hey, Void. How are you? How are you today? What are you doing? What are you thinking here, Koji? My cardboard stuff done out of you. I'm ground, I'm ground. A nice little nice little productive day in work. And now I know no one else is in the house. So I get Koji. Wait. Wanna see? Yeah, yeah, sure. Koji, scratching your back, you can't do shit. Ah! Struggle all you like, you can't reach this hand. Oh, it's not like a Makachi word. Alright. Yes, yes, hello, Satharon. How are you? Yes, nobody else is here, so do I have the beast? There, oh, oh, oh. There it is, there it is. Nice, nice. <laughs> like the little knife. Oh. Pretty cool. Are you gonna paint it? Oh, going for the skinny eye cosplay? Obviously, yes. Obviously. That's what it's all about. <laughs> oh. Oh, gee. Come on. I want to come up and join me. The plans. Come on, man. You know what plans are. Just one of the body armor. I'm not a robot. He's trying to pin. We can just get a, get a, what do you call it, a spray paint down and just, you know, psh, all over it. On straight lines about 20 to, 20 to 25 centimeters away. Don't have them? Okay, fair enough. What could you not? It still amazes me that people use those. To get high. Who looks? Who looks at a fucking can of compressed shit? Disgusting shit. And then goes, you know what? I'm gonna put that in me. 
I'm gonna fucking stick that right up my nose. You know what I think is gonna be a good time? I still don't know stand up. There's a there's a certain type of person in Northern Ireland. We all call glue bags. Because they actually get a load of glue and they put it into a bag and they just fucking get the bag over their nose and take a big fucking massive huff of it. And that's how they get high. There's actually a, there was actually a very f a fucking famous video of a woman from America coming here. Then she was in like a cemetery. Yeah. In fucking Belfast somewhere. And she like find some like young people. She was asking them what they were doing. They were like, huffing glue. <laughs> she was like, what? <laughs> she was so fucking confused. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, that's the kind of legs they really. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. What the hell, fucking glue bags and stuff. So just I have no idea. Who even thinks of that? Who looks at a fucking... Who looks at glue and just goes... Oh, yo, I got an idea, boys. <laughs> even, if, even if someone was sitting there telling me how amazing this was, where they're, they're like, oh, you know what? Uh, I got a weekend planned for us. We're gonna uh, get a fucking bunch of glue. Gonna get so many pret sticks, you have no idea. Put at least seven in a bag. I remember my teacher joked one time that I might have been using a pret stick to get high. He was insinuating because why, why else would I have a, a fucking a pret stick on me? In school. <laughs> why, why does this guy always have a pret stick on him? I was like, yes, it's, fucking, it's for school. It's like school supplies. <laughs> My god. The other one, though. Like, there's a, there's a part of me, right, that would love to know if if there's like ever gonna be a school reunion thing, just so that I can like send someone else and I never actually go to it. Fucking, I don't want to go to it, but I want to know what the hell happened to everybody. <laughs> I want to be nosy, but I don't want to actually be nosed on. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, that's my problem. myself there. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know exactly where Peru is. Where where is it? I 
Oh, I don't want to wipe the Oracle. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Here, guide. That would actually be lovely. I feel like uh, it's one of those places that would be way too warm for me, though. Like, way, way, way too warm. No? Is it bad that I didn't actually know where Ecuador is? 20 degrees almost all year? God. Pretty decent. It's warm for me. That'd be that'd be pretty warm, like. I mean, if I'm not doing anything, it's not so bad. <laughs> oh. The whole mountain range, that. Like the whole way up. Which skirts along the edge. That's interesting. Oh. What do you call it? So I've been, I've been playing Valorant with some people, right? And for a good while, they were just like... <laughs> they were all making the joke that they, they were just like... Yeah, you gotta get a woman from... Like a Latina woman, like... <laughs> Like, for God's sake. Oh. It was just constant, too, because I was like, fucking, it has to be. <laughs> oh. Like, all of us are from Europe. Like, uh, it's as far gone as it can be, like. Oh. I still want to go to Japan again. Want to go back. Still think it had like the best food I think I've ever had in my life. Uh, that pork cutlet ramen that I had once still sticks with me. Yes, sorry. Yes. Are you here to tell me that uh, some other murderer or another is fucking based? Some other serial killer is based or another? Do you want to buy? <laughs> oh. What do you call it? Uh. Whenever you were saying Patrick Bateman is based. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh. But yes, how are you today, Ari? Where it came from? That's not where it came from, though. What are you... Like, what? Actually, now that I'm looking about it, where's, where's that fucking one island? Where's that one island? It's out, out past... Right near India somewhere. 
Not no island, where are you? My god. This must actually be tiny. Where's a... Oh. Gibu gibu. Bring it over. Calm down. Come on. Sit on up here. Calm yourself down. Are you snores? <laughs> you little shits. Fucking ask me to play it. <laughs> oh. Was redeemed it. You asked first. Well, ah, there it is. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I don't know. The walking and talking seminar. I everything's a walking and talking simulator. What do you want, like? Oh my god. Holy shit, it's so wild. Big tinny mod, yeah, yeah, obviously. Not the Alec Blam or whatever it was. The one where you you get a you get a gun. Modern ship wand or something. My God. This is just so amazing. Random book dinner art. <laughs> Using Google Maps. Yes, obviously. The best place to go for, uh, for dinner and uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what is this? Okay, so... <laughs> there must be some, uh... Some, like, fucking... Generic questions that you can have about locations. So North Sentinel Island has... How much does the housing generally cost here? Are the neighbors friendly? And I, <laughs> someone has answered, one-way ticket. <laughs> Oh my god. Good god. Fucking god. What the fuck? I don't know, it's still so amazing. Like North Sentinel Island is just a fucking amazing anomaly. There's a place in the world where no one... No one has realistically been.
know you? What? Sorry, that makes no sense. Yes, on the world, no one's been. You know what's amazing about it too? So what the fuck out there? <laughs> so apparently there was a there was a small what do you call it shipping tanker? Or like a Yeah yeah, a small shipping tanker I think. That like beached along the north coast of North Sentinel Island. And it's still on uh, it's still on fucking Google Maps. <clears throat> so if you look at it, you can find like the thing on the northwest coast. Oh, so weird, like. <clears throat> Like, do you think people just fuck about on it now? Just running around the ship? Some people are wondering, like, how it got there. Like, what is it? Also, in a slightly unrelated note, uh, three mags. I keep eating them. I'll fly you over there to check it out. You technically can't, like, you can't sail there because it's patrolled by the the Indian Navy. <clears throat> so it is very, it's very hard to find your way to Sentinel Island now. What the fuck? There's significant uncertainty as to the group size of the, of the Sentinelese, with estimates ranging between 15 and 500 individuals, but mostly between 50 and 200. so strange. groups are there. I mean, on this list of, like, particularly vulnerable tribal groups, there's 75 tribes. 
Yeah, yeah, go for it. Go for it, Ari. Oh my god. Okay, at what point does a tribe become just a, a, a population? In Od Odisha? The BBC gonna try. Alright, yeah. I don't know, some of these have real, real number advantage. In Odisha, there's the Sa Saura, S A U U R A, which have 473,233. I don't know about you, but I think they have no the numbers advantage. They might just want it <clears throat> a bit bigger, just a bit, just a wee touch. Like, I mean, that's literally fucking half a million people. There are other tribes here that are 43. 1,000 would be too much. Uh, I don't know. There's some of these that are 84,000. Uh, 1,500, 9,000, 45,000. 100 to 200 seems large. What about 155,000? Would you still consider that a, a particularly vulnerable tribal group? Uh, by the looks of it, they are mostly in... Okay, the PVTG, the Particularly Vulnerable Tribal Group list, was created by the Indian government with the purpose of better improving the living standards of endangered tribal groups based on priority. So, presumably, quite a lot of these aren't in there. Which does make sense, because they have, they have, like, a number of islands that they sort of govern. But, uh... There's no... There's no... Like, there's nothing useful there, if you get me. <laughs> it's not like they're they're an economic hotspot. They just kind of exist nowadays. Economic hot spot. Uh, no. I wish I was. But no, I am. I am nothing, Ari. I am nothing. Economic hot spot. I don't think there's any any less of an like a non insult. You're an economic. Remake time. Remake time. For Christ. Yes, yes, of course I am. I can even hear you say that in my head. Second cooming. It is, in fact, time to play the game. It is, in fact. All we have to do is wait for the game to figure out what it's going to look like. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... 
but we're here to we're here to stream a game today. Not just to sit and chill and talk about the Santana Leagues. Okay. I don't know, it's, it's one of those things I find interesting. I, I just find it fascinating. It was grand, it was grand. We lowered ceilings. So, you know, nailed 4x2 along the wall and then nailed lath onto it. Different types of wood did you touch? They were all white wood. They were all white wood. Alright. All of them. All of the wood was white wood today. As with every day. Basically, I only ever work with like white wood, mahogany, and oak. And that's it. It's not like there's a massive, massive variety of different, you know, woods to be touched. One of its kind of rare tree from the middle of Atlantis that has Pokemon pictures on it? No, no. Strangely enough, I haven't I haven't had to work with a tree that had Pokemon pictures on it, no. Especially I wouldn't even know that. Like as soon as it's made into wood, it's just wood. Regatus Flagustus. would know yeah yeah don't stream would be able to tell me whether i've worked with the tree that had pokemon pictures on it yeah that's right i, I have uh what do you call okay let's see Lumos. i'm gonna be making Making things together. Make some of these together. So I have Lumos. The thing is, I don't have enough. I don't have enough things for it to be useful. But like, yeah, that, that's a combat one for goddamn sure. And let's just put this together, for like general, general things. And then I guess like a random. Uh, on there. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I have no fucking idea what the hell I'm doing. What's with the. That's okay. The combat and my other ones look eerily similar. Okay. Okay, also, do I actually have a room of requirement? No, it's just a map here. Okay. So we have flying class and what a swarm of butterflies. Wow. Talking to people about butterflies. I really what one of our quests is. Yep, the cart. What the hell is this? Holocraft? Walking and talking simulator. I don't understand you, Ari. I don't understand. Sometimes you just say something that, like. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Like, sometimes you just say something where it just. I mean, the tree in my bike. <laughs> yes, that's it, that's it. Exactly what we were talking about. I meditate under daily. 
<laughs> yes, yes. But like sometimes you say something, all right, that's just like so. I don't know. Non specific. Meditating. Yeah, no, that's where the fucking Coon Grabber 5000 is. Nestled under the roots of the tree, obviously. That's the entire class. And then. What's that, Nanny? Oh. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Who, who's Madame? I don't have a Mr. Crofton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Okay. Hello. The goal of today Hello. is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop the loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then there's no, there's no Quidditch. There's no Quidditch season. No. Isn't just flying, yes. Thank you. Now, your turn. Thank you. She actually just oh, said thank you. Stupid ratty school broom. Oh. There it is. I'm a prodigy. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> None of that side saddle nonsense. What? The Dyson cordless vacuum? You know there's a vacuum brand here called Goblin? Presumably it's nestled cleanly and firmly right in the fucking middle there. Damn. If a ball either side. Both the one side. I want them returned in one piece. Uh, <sighs> I think I'm getting the hang of this. Wish I had my own broom. Yes, good. And leave. What? Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise. It, it, it does. It really does. It really does look weird. Like it looks really weird. This next set of rings will take you around the ground <clears throat> for more of a challenge. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I guess that one this this one I don't actually have to. Hello. Nice day for Stay a far flight. Derps for the feet. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. <laughs> oh, I feel like this is kind of weird, hung it. See clearly. Oh yeah, they're just actually fucking. Those, uh, those nuts are gone, like. I don't know, I feel like this is weird. It's a sad. There's no saddle. See, the weird thing is, right? So, obviously, my fucking ungodly favorite game ever. That fucking, that Quidditch, Quidditch World Cup game. Some of them do have, like, uh, stirrups. They do have, like, place to put your feet. So, so some of them do and some of them don't. you fly through those rings you seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough i'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging but i'm oh, getting ahead of myself 
We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? What? I don't know. I feel like this is just going to give me more trouble. Let's go. That. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Follow me. Those are just the cheap ones. The is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Transphobic. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? That is. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Only the rich graduate with their privates intact. So only they can reproduce. Yes, yes. Land? How the fuck do I land? Wait, I can toggle flight speed? So I don't have to hold the right trigger. I can just click the left stick and then roll around. <laughs> it's bonk, 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 bonk. Good God. Mudbloods? No, muggles are muggles are just muggles. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. Or openly oh, racist and hit a giant snake to kill non pure class is finished for the day. <laughs> oh god. As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. I just learned how to fucking fly quicker. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Okay. I guess it it all works out as long as I do Sorry good. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. I have it no regrets. Two house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. <laughs> I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. No. I hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. What I'll the, keep what an the eye fuck? Out what what the hell did that guy just say? Like, what the fuck did he just say? Yes, it's Harry Potter. That's a this fake Harry Potter. He's a very handsome. <laughs> Okay. I'm writing to do with Professor Black's decision to cancel Quidditch. No! <laughs> As you know, joining a professional Quidditch team is my utmost dream, and I believe my chances will not be ruined or at least significantly thwarted. 
Professor Weasley insists that we must defer to the headmaster and she encouraged me to practice on my own. I've devised some challenging problems for myself, but not at the same as practicing on the pits. Nothing is. Uh oh, an elder. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the defense against the dark arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. I see, I see, I see. That's the wife and kids. The fuck do you ask everyone? How's the wife and kids? Oh. Always has the wife and kids. Ah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. It's preferable to existing. <laughs> God damn. No, oh, I wasn't doing anything in your office. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, okay. I literally have to go and fucking sell some of my shit. I have to go and sell shit. Like, I, I literally am fucking drowning. It's too cruel for them to live. <laughs> oh. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Chips in the hat, if you please. The hell did that work? Ah, uh, yes. Thing. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate there? frogs, please refrain What in the from name of God? I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. What the fuck is this? A legendary fur coat. Reliant cab, yeah, obviously. I have shit that I can't even look at. I have no idea what the hell this is or what the hell this is. Drip works like this. <laughs> oh, I know. And there is one thing that I have that I have noticed, and it is very fucking good. So say if say if you have some gear that you really like the look of, or like this the yeah, those are the clothing only vendor. So you can you can change what they they look like. Fair enough, completely. These are like cloaks that I've unlocked, or that I've that I've actually had in my inventory. And then obviously there's ones that have or these ones that are like specific so I can just be like yeah I can just have a suit of armor. Yeah I can just change this hat into a full fucking helmet. Why not? Why wouldn't I be able to do that right? like side characters yes i know i know i know i was say like, these gold dragon eyed spectacles are probably the strangest ones i've ever seen <laughs> oh Let's see what, what what can i have for a fucking God. Yeah, well, I love the other one. A 
also while I'm here, I'll see if I can get into the... Oh wait, yes, 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 uh... That's the one that I should have in, in this. All the twitch drops? <laughs> oh. Fair, fair. You... Hello there. Come on in and have a look around. No. The deadline is coming. Hope you have a magical day. Extra, extra. What? Fucking wizard newspapers here now? Is this the three rooms? Ah, here's the three rooms. I need to talk to someone in there. Something. Were you talking oh, to some shit? Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they can't see a poop flop. There is no poop flop. When I was at home, be cool. They are DLC. Were forbidden from entering the forest. Look. Told horrible stories about it, and <laughs> I've had an irrationally intense fear. Of I mean, I I want them to it's update silly, one thing. I want them to I'm add footage. I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes. If you wouldn't mind. What were the horrible stories you were told about the Forbidden Forest? Oh. Goodness, Forbidden. everything from students being mysteriously beheaded to terrifying spider dens. Ugh. Trust me, you hear that at 11 years old, it sticks with you. Uh, okay, okay, Very well, okay, okay. if I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. You can usually find me slacking off work and just standing here. Is Don't she working? Forget, the butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden forest. So who's this guy? The guy in green. He's dapper as fuck. Okay. <laughs> oh. Have a nice night. Don't stream. Don't oh, cheat. No cheating and going AFK on life. <laughs> this isn't as booming as I thought it would be. In fact, it seems like there's fuck all happening here. Always oh, a level one mod. It's about taking himself. Oh, well, I mean, if it works, it works. Ooh. Oh, new face. Wonderful. Oh, I can actually fucking talk. To I can actually go in here. I'll be weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yes, new obviously. available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and You say and they're masterpieces? Looks exactly like it. Maybe it is. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. 
Yes, Wiz? How are you today? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? Every <laughs> detail. I hope to see you at Lightning McQueen's next race. Thank you, Doc Stream. You weavers are rare because some fear fly in them, likely to do with a U one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Exhausting all. Every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Have I like have I got a fucking notepad out here? Fucking taking down this guy's life story? Like he has properly given me stacks here. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Well, you ever oh my god, they cost six hundred. Well like what? They're so cheap. Alright, let's see, let's see. That item is of the highest quality. I'll see. This one this one has like not quite not quite stirrups, but it has something. Yeah, it's just the fucking the the one. Oh my god. The bags. That item is of the highest quality. It's got a seat. Alright. Will I get the, the will I get the one with the seeds? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Oh, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. Why the fuck did you not tell me this? Who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Oh, right, okay, I'll tell you. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. We've been up and about since 7.30. How people moving in and out and got home to find out what other mess and cables in the rudder. No internet for an hour and a half. Of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yes. Uh, yes. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The special price of free? A bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. He fucking you sort you out, so she will. Sure let me know. Are they flying? Ooh. I would do that. help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. Jesus Christ. Yes, but that uh, does sound pretty fucking dire. <laughs> I usually I just have that scarf. It's actually, I really like that one. The Slytherin scarf. I, I actually really like it. East byproducts? Uh, all right. Wait, what was this? Speak with Harry Pippin. Okay, yeah. Do that. If something threatens me. The first thing I cast is Protego. We have everything a young student oh. might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look at Yeah. Oh my god, I can just open this? Hello, okay. Mr. Pippin. <clears throat> you need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has mm -hmm. taken to turning every visit into an argument. 
constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating <laughs> task off my yes, hands, yes. I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Happy to help. Happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility <laughs> requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much <laughs> Yes, trouble. yes it is working today. In her own right. I have no Did idea why I won't. I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. This guy is this guy just telling me about the perv on a woman, but being all like oh, but I'd like to look at her potion recipes. <laughs> I'm gone, this man's exploding. I'm done. <laughs> There's one more page left in the entirety of Hogsmeade. I just saw it. Still doing this uh, silly quest? Yes, I am. Also, give me a chance to see whether I can fly or not. Hello, cat. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revenia. Literally just go straight to this boat house then. I'm coming in hard and fast. Let's fucking go. Yum. Blank lake. Ah, I see. Pages. I love me pages. Don't laugh. I've never been any good at that one. Never been any good at what? It was so much fun, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, sure. What the hell are you talking about? Revelia. I see. Oh, there's just no music. A lot of music anymore. Really would prefer if they just had. Is there a way to change the the specific broom fucking settings? Can I put this on a even harder? Uh, invert flight controls, no. Not, not that. Where's... Is there nothing else? Yee. Yee. 
Okay, okay, okay. I just wish I could put all the movement on the left stick. Because up and down doing nothing is kind of useless to me. So why is my why is my boost infinite right now? Was that is that what it means by like low down is all good and up high is no fucking shite. Oh my god. There he is. No. What is this? A wee small pit bull, seemingly. What's that one, man? So you know what's really bad was? I've forgotten literally every single thing that I ever changed in my skills. I have no idea what skills I have now. Do I do this again? Should I do the petrify petrificus totalis? One prompted. Just a sh Yes, obviously, obviously that's the way to be. It's more like I, I just don't remember at all. What the hell I fucking did. Reuse. <laughs> Let me nick your shit. Purple ear hair? Yeah. Go menu? What about this? Yeah, I see. These are just better, aren't they? I see, I see. I see. And then that's... Dodge. Blocking a spell. Reflect two. New spell slots. Better healing. Holding down dodge. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That would be useful. Is a cast for your school down? Yes. Okay, that's all that I did. Oh my! I could I could just do that wherever. It's not actually quicker though. It's over here, Dark Mongol. Two enemies? What? Oh. They always do something useful. I 
Ich glaube, Fanta ist gerade vorne. <lacht> I feel like this could be really fucking weirdly broken though. Like there's gotta be some weird interaction that this move has with something or other, right? Like you go to a specific fucking wall or something and you fucking... And then you just fly off into the fucking middle of nowhere. I see you running. What the hell are you running for? Meow. Hmm. Seems a pleasant and always late that Pippin. You sent my Pippin. Meow. Always late that Pippin. Why is my why is my armor like green now? Pippin should have been here by now. Madame Luong, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think just just getting out of this conversation. I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. What? Seems simple. Sure, fucking Probably easy. You like what? I think so. What? Why is she such a piece of shit? Yeah, there you go. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? <laughs> Perhaps combining your recipes and skills. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a chance that Ned Duel had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, I'm get me out of this conversation. Let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. May I see your words? I see, I see. What are we what looking for today? A reason to talk to you, but I'm not finding any. This will do I'm just supposed fine. to like her? Thank you for stopping in. I don't know, she I started this conversation by just being a bitch. Yo, who the fuck? Who the fuck keeps a fucking Iron Maiden in their shed? I just walked into a fucking. I walked into someone's sex bed it's and just like fucking took a dildo started. handle. Can I get in there? No, it's locked. Can I get in here? Okay. Does this not make it kind of like... I'm at the point now where I can just kind of go anywhere. Put a seat on it and everything. I don't know, I always find like... Whenever you find, like, have a better form of, uh, transport, then the game sort of becomes solved. Right? What is this? Was this one of the time trials? 
Wait, these are definitely things for footage. Which DLC confirmed? What even is this? I guess it must be one of the time trial things. But how do I... How do I start it? for history of magic what the fuck can't enter while mounted off it need to learn the wind spell To learn how to use wind. One of I know these what things. that means. Merlin trial. Be the leaf. I have no leaf, though. That's my problem. It must lead to something grand. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. Oh, yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite. Is this the defense against the dark arts woman? Since my husband passed. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband. I mean, look at her face, though. On the mysterious statue look just outside our hamlet. Some sort of That's racist. No, it isn't. She's got the same face. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. Oh, uh, okay. An archaic puzzle. Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested, and wait till I tell you about the rumors surrounding this particular puzzle. My this particular puzzle insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when <sighs> perhaps you could take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. All right. Yep. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Ah, yes, of course. Also, what's up with these little lamp things? I should look into the statue Madame Twiddle mentioned. Iron deal? <laughs> Madame Twiddle. This is. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Looks rather dark and incendiary. Instantly hit the ground or something. 
Okay, I've seen one. I just have to do them quick enough. But not just still. What the fuck just happened? Okay. Presumably there is only three. They all still seem to be alive. Or no. I shouldn't even bother jumping for that one and just do it from the water's edge. The problem is I should definitely be waiting until I get a better spell for this. I can't be asked waiting. That's like time lost. Time to find Mal Twi Twiddle's fucking statue. Looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. 
activate the statue. Why are there so many vases around here? What's the first idea that you have? Maybe destroy every artifact that's in the vicinity? Yes, obviously. Just feel it, don't worry. I just know that there's only one more. I feel it deep in my bones. That's it. I should tell Madam Twiddle about what happened. Battle arena. All right. Well, what? 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 Okay, that's not what I was expecting at all. Oh, yo. Whoa! Okay. Teleport, maybe not the best. See myself. <laughs> Why the fuck does he just teleport? He literally just teleports. This is the, wait, this is the, this is the two? Oh shit, there's a fucking ton of them, that's why. Okay, 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 okay. Restore challenge, let's go. It's interesting, I like this. 
Those are gonna be the troll again. This does. God damn. What the fuck is that? my combo 80 fucking five dear god damn it oh Seven, easy peasy. Oh, that just full heals me, now? Holy shit! Oh, oh God, dog dogs! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Also, this is just a really fucking random assortment of fucking things to fight. Oh. What? From. That, that is not what I'm trying to fight. I'm definitely trying to fight like that random fucking cloud in the distance. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 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 Nah, no. I'll leave that. I'll leave that. Why are dog bogs so hard to fucking beat? I like you just need to have like a bunch of fucking damaging spells or something for them. They don't have a weakness. So is that really the way that you open, uh, like, fighting arenas? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Oh, 
Oh, he's not solo. Did I just randomly kill them and then? Not often I see how good students are during the school year. I'm Priya Treadwell at your service, and I sell a variety of traveling necessities. Hey, are you really the Lord Woman's wife, right? Why, yes, she's my wife. Brilliant historian. Did you know that she's pursuing Merlin's life's work? I actually met her, and she introduced me to her work. I'm involved in it now as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Then you must be rather brilliant <laughs> as well. At any rate, I hope that you'll think of me whenever you find yourself in need of traveling supplies. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Or do you have for sale? Let's have a look, shall we? What the fuck? Stun and harm enemies in a radius. What the fuck? Increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. I think I'm fine. So nice of you to stop by. Yeah, sure. How's this? Search shit while I'm just on a fucking broom. Unlock pop balloons. Wow. These challenges, I swear. Identified head item. Yes. Obviously what I needed. You do. Why is there a fucking fucking thing here? How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. What a load and load. I feel like I have to have an intervention with myself. I'm just like, alright, Chris, you gotta actually do something here. You can't just constantly fucking go and run around the place. You have to actually have a goal. A 
for a bit of dying, are we? Wonder who lives here. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. What is this? Lumos. Will this open whenever I do this trial? for me this time in the world of hogwarts and like magic and shit right is there is there such a thing as go that's that settled did they have a wizard go I'm just getting stuck further and further in this corner. Thank you. 
Don't fucking tell. <laughs> I do this one thing that I've never used. Oh, I can't. Oh, it did fuck off. That was good. Cool. Am I killing these Sigma males? Does it look like I'm killing them though? Looks like they're killing me, really. I mean, come on. They exist, they must die. Burden curse? I'm not the burden curse though. 
think I'm doing all this fucking dumb shit for fun? If I could literally just cast kill, then I will. Damn. Ah, fucking Jesus. Give me one second, my TV's about to turn off. <laughs> like, yeah, you're fucking taking too long. That would do damage. Just throw it right. Block on my view, something shocking. Oh, troll, troll, troll bogeys. Ah, oh, yes, of course. The one thing I wanted most. killed that thing. Ah, yes. The most valuable thing I could have gotten. Full bogeys and 44 quid. What the fuck? This looks intriguing. Does it, though? platforms? What? Oh, what? What do you mean landing platforms? I just turn around and say landing platforms and not have any anything else. Oh, I see. Obviously. I dancer broom? What the hell? Do you just actually find them and that's all you do with them? <laughs> do anything else with this? But I just got shit. Or shit. How do I how do I put stuff in here? Don't know. Damn. Oh fucking damn. If I just go on to this thing, nothing's gonna actually happen. No? No. Ooh. 
with all of this. Up, bros. Oh. Up, bros. Right. I'm go back to your room. What the hell? I'll I'll be a twiddle. Or what? At least let me go this way. Let me go. Edwin Broom? No. That is a challenge. They unlocked this broom. I unlocked this broom. to guess. Well and kind cloak. Which is apparently dog shit. It's just a fucking piece of grass for God's sake. I know what that means. Merlin trial. part of a puzzle oh really how exciting yes we oh. had to destroy a number of large vases and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue well done oh i miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind well my curiosity has been satisfied thank you for that who knows what i'll encounter on my next constitutional Would be so pleased to know. Isn't constitutional? Like, is she just talking about walking? Is that what she's talking about? Okay, wait, what the hell is in Hogsmeade? Oh, yeah, to go back to your fucking man. Jesus. I'm teleported everywhere. Teleport around the entire island. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Yes. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Yes, I'd like an additional fee. It was a pleasure I know, to right? You, Mr. Pippin. Likewise, <laughs> worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that wench. Yes, Best yes, yes. Potions, you see, Mr. you Pippin. understand. Do take care. You do understand. Hogwarts. 
Sebastian Confrengo? How's Confrengo? The Room of Requirement. I want that. Yeah, I really want that. So I gotta make sure that my TV doesn't turn off. The chat TV. Stop it, code. There's nobody here, it's just you and me, Cody. Oh no no. It's just you and me. Oh, my balls. <laughs> Let's go do it. Come on. Go. He does not understand what I what I mean whenever I tap. Like anywhere. Whenever I whenever I'm like, come on, let's sit. Then I always tap stuff. So. All right. Oh. Ah. Professor Weasley. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Well, there's a, a thing of headmaster fucking be good at training him. Not my job. That's the problem. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I. Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> Isn't your job, but you still can. The problem is you kinda can't. when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hmm, he must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Where's my D? Chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Uh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is this a room of requirement spell specifically? Splendid. Evanesco on those chairs. Are there 150 more dust devils? Well, God bless. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that Ever. elf? Ah, I waited for you here. Yeah, just perhaps you're assigned a few more inches of parchment. My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. 
Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Also, what the hell is a dust devil? Hey. Aren't you also on the call for heat? Feels like that's the thing to be doing. Looking for heat. Fuck. Is that me a pick or what? No, let's see. Ooh. I gotta be protected from whatever the hell you sent me. Very good. What the fuck? Okay, I thought they would have been like, ooh, some like desert creature with the name Dust Devil, not uh, not an actual walking cock. The hell, like. Alright. Stone. That yeah, works and all. Uh, how does devil. anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I have no idea. Is that a golden snitch? That a golden snitch? What? You should summon your wits and find out. to do with the fucking two of these. This is fucking nuts. On the lookout for Deke. There he is. Oh. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Oh, are you yes, right yes, I see. We'll come to you. <laughs> oh. Apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. I is see. Is the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. 
The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep-seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. I see, what I, I mean see. specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Just think about it. And the room will do everything. <laughs> My god, it's becoming a new room. I was rummaging around to see what new shit there is in the room. And then I just fucking clear it out completely and it's like, ah, yes, I see. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. Ah, uh, yes, I see, I, I see. Look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. I see, I see. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. I see, I see. Go. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I don't know. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I don't put all the shit in. Advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Ah, shit. Right. One handed. Let's see if I can do it. Or if I'm gonna fail my first one. Nope. Easy peasy. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs we vanished that? earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. All right. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. Time to conjure shit. What the 
the fuck like seasonal decorations i can get a christmas tree game came out like last week Oh my god. Apology trophy. Yes, let's put the large gothic room. I see. I see. Wide mirror. description I did it increase conjuration budget Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potions <laughs> you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Probably not. Deek will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Thank you very I'll be much. Sure to speak with Deek if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Well, yes, just tell me. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. I have fucking 140 of them. items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much is enough? I'm trying to provide I have no idea how much. Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Conjure wall decorations? No. Oh. Sorry, actually taking into account that I have done, that I actually have put it in. Deke, 
hasn't seen this many plants here before. And then wall decorations. to take on alteration the altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item you can change the colors patterns and styles of your furniture to suit ah. your taste I'm let's sorry, get started baby. shall we watch closely as i demonstrate how to perform the altering spell so i don't know what it is with jeans anymore but they fucking absolutely construct my balls it's not a fun time i'll be honest Name your wand at any conjured item and perform the It's not fun. Well, to customize. Yellow. We tried turning them off and on again. No, I'll have to. I'll have to give that a go. The size of an item. the style of an item. Nicely done. Now you're Absolutely. ready for something a little more advanced. You can use sure. the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Why? Just why? He thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you? Deep. Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh, 
What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, sure, we'll say moonlit. Why not? To feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. I see, I see. Oh. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. Okay. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. I'm sure it probably does. It's like the secret door. the space further you can use these spellcrafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye out good i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Spellcasting, who gives a shit? <laughs> uh, that immediately makes it shit tier, does it? Oh, lordy. Oh. Oh. I've always said that travel broadens, broadens the, mind. the mind. Over here. Yeah. Is that is that what you want? You know what? You know what, Ari? I need to I need to stand up. I need to take a stand. Go and grab some cream eggs and get myself some energy. Cool. I'm gonna get that kind of thing eventually. What? Uh AI generated chat in games? Possibly, but I feel like it would have to be it would have to not be able to learn anymore. So it would have to learn in house, in like studio. But then after that, they would have to cap the learning on it somehow. Because if you leave it to just learn as like people play, then you make obviously people just making their. What do you call it? Guinevere of fucking. Dildoli in the third. Some fucking alien bitch that just starts talking some vile shit, you know? You can't really have that. I've always said the travel broadens the mind. Wah! I've always said each PC is a learning AI. Every PC. Sounds perfect. Do you actually want your games to have like some vile, vile shit in them or? Or do you just want them to be all like charming and fun like RuneScape?
What if it was connected to the internet, though? Like it checked. It checked on the server. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. What? This way. There's a secret passage just here. Is this what this is? A Chad looking skull. That is actually what I feel like Chad's skull would look like. Got a fucking square chin at the bottom of everything. Time to enter the Undercroft. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister. And she so loved sweet. that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. Revenia. We've never been caught. We <gasps> need. I know ominous. What even is this fucking place? I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. That this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft completely has forgot about that guy. place to sneak off to. Completely forgot about from him. Prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such okay, spells okay. should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Fringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Uh... I suppose I should have one of these that's like just damage spell, shouldn't I? And then one that's more like useful things. Wait, what is Confringo again? Does damage on impact. Okay, so there's like... Yeah. 
Hear it. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. Nice work. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. Yes. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. <laughs> I'm ready for more this spells exactly like this. I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. <laughs> if there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Who? Just let me know when, and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ramrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. <laughs> the book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. He seems pretty fucking hellbent on squeezing out information from me. Let's put this diagram. Definitely something to do with ancient magic. Having to leave the Undercroft. Hello, no Sebastian. one knows. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Fucking... Uh, yeah, Sebastian told me like I mean. Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Yeah, good there. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please, I was trying Why? to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Whoa, Sebastian's these two are actual dickheads sometimes. About this. Yeah, yeah, whatever you... Break. That room is special to me. No one is allowed to know about it. Who told you? I just find it. You fucking liar! Close. 
rather unproductive trip to the Ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Off on another adventure, are we? Let's see if I remember where Professor Fig's office is. Should just be here, right? Yes, yeah. Did indeed. I did in fact remember. I was hoping. Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Sorry. Yes, big. You're back. Oh, boy. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes, I thought it was odd too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. And that's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. <laughs> anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Cool, cool, cool. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way, and a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham? I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. To think it was beneath us all this time. Just open a portal to Mars? The fuck is this? Look, dots. A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. Oh. If only you were here to see this. Huh. Oh yeah, I forgot. Forgot his wife died. <laughs> Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal, as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. 
the location of the each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? Uh. I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all of the details. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles yes. is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however... Ah, yes, all well. that shit that you did trials was worth fuck all. ...to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, oh. we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. I see, I see. Shall we have a look? Isn't that the artillery? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Uh, you said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about I already it? Know. Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's oh, north okay. of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. Right. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going. The map chamber. Yeah. What is next? Our list. God. Ancient magic hotspots. Oh wait, I completely fucking lied. I have no idea what the fuck that is. I mean, like, I have literally no idea. Uh, alright. Wait, do I? Do I stop doing Hogwarts? I have a where's the me 
Fire and use a focus potion. Fire maximum and adverbs and use them simultaneously. Okay, okay. I don't think these are not that hard. Smeed. Let's go to Hogsmeade by Amandric and the potions. Or potion recipes, whatever. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Uh, I just literally go up and then I go down. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I just uh, did a small act of fucking wizard terrorism. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Thank yes, you again for similar. delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. A wise decision. Thank you. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Yes. Oh, it's you! What a pleasant surprise. Good. Remove requirement? No one can say that just buy? Stack shelf. Or do I just buy a mandrake? Please. I couldn't be fucked doing all this shit. Is there anywhere that I can just buy a fucking mandrake now? Try that one. Also, what can I get from the thing? Wondering when I'd see you again. Underation? Hopping pot? I can do to help. What in the name of fuck? I forty five gold. Right. I find a mandrake though. Fuck.
top of these fucking things. Did they just, like, disappear whenever you finish them, or did they just not? I mean, they must do, because I did one here, right? Hogwarts. Uh, there should be one near... one near the Quidditch pitch. Because your woman wants me to fucking fly around for a bit. Rebellious. You're saying it wrong. Ugh, Rebellia. <laughs> Much better. Oh, shut Rebellia. Up. Wait, Akia. He's ruined my entire school year. I hope a puff skin goes up his nose and snatches his brain. It'd poison the poor no. beast. What sort of headmaster doesn't allow sports? <laughs> Deserves to be an Azkaban. That'd suit him. Ah, oh, if Black was an Azkaban, I should pity the Dementors. The man has no soul to take. <laughs> Besides, Azkaban wouldn't suit black. Not enough mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> Truer words were never spoken. Oh, these two are just actually talking fucking wild shit on the man. Not even here to defend himself. Oh. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent. Yes. Hello, Melda. Albie Weeks sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. Indeed. I tried to once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. I don't know what people have said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that to the rest of the school. But it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, right. now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. <laughs> you can't be what oh, wow. Slytherin these days. Pff, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Wow. Right. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin one versus of? Slytherin. One of? Is she not supposed to be the best can you tell here? tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all, built ages ago by former students. Since Black mm -hmm. cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again, got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Alrighty.
What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Why am I just randomly turning left? Continuously. I'm a little confused with that. This time is 220. The best time is 2.20? <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, yeah. Alright, I smell the fucking... Well, what's your record here? Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated, you... Oh, fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Sure, I sure remember. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <laughs> I wish I had the gall to fucking be like this in real life. I don't want your respect. I don't give a fuck about your respect. After all, we shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Albie Weeks. Albie Week in the knees. Ew. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. I suspect some balls are in a little happen. Oh shit all. Ah yes. Enter. No. Of my mind. It needs me, you see. Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh, you're back. We've something to report, I hope. There we Mr. Go. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and is wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. All right. Who has died? Did you? Does anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. 
Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome who runs a shop like mine. A friend Says in Rome? There. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smethick could let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. The hell's the cushioning charm? I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? What are we looking for today? Mm -hmm. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. All right. What you said, little one was. Iron something. Iron deal. There it is. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented speed. You're right, I can't. And I don't want to. Four. Huh. I start these races though. start them unless I have like a quest for them or something or do I just have to be at the podium at the fucking Quidditch uh Browns and Hogwarts it's just an actual obelisk what the fuck Oh, this thing. Just love flying into a fucking fight and dying. <laughs> I'm sure uh, you should never have come. Oh, you could hide from me, did ya? Right now. 
Oh. Oh, okay. It just fucking destroys you, man. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. I literally can't unlock this. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, little thing. I can't help you. You're currently stuck in the confines of that cage for the rest of your life. Fucking way to deflect shields and shit. Fuck it. Yeah, How do I put these things into anything? Look at this. Doxy egg. And I have none of these fucking mouse sweet. All good, all good. Uh, let's see. Bad one where you just like throw fucking teleporting gloves in your like, shit. I've already been here. Yes. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Swallow. I recommend the level for this is apparently two. Level uh, 19. So, you know, hard enough. be a good challenge. Oh. 
Where am I? It's sort of it's sort of a useless sitting there going like oh, if I if I open this then I can literally fly up to wherever the fuck that thing just opened. It never mattered for this to be open. ladder climbing. Who would know? There's like a spell on me. Damn, I can fucking move in this suit. I don't know. Unidentified hand item. It's all of the best hand items I know. Chicken shit. In. Where I tell us you to go, you shall go. something on this level. It, though. can't even play. A sport that you can't even partake in. Also, it really is just like... 
I'll do whatever the hell you want at this point. If there's more than one way to enter. How come that guy can just break out of a combo? That is literally his thing is just a break straight out of a combo. What the fuck? I was literally never expecting that one. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. He's outside. What is this guy? That was Can't seem like dog shit. You're free! You're free! Go, cart! Go! Be free! <laughs> so fucking silly. Somebody just enchant everything to do their own shit like that. The sword is sharpening itself. Fuck life. Damn. You got any mallow sweet? The hell even is a mallow sweet? Alright, I'm gonna talk to this guy and then I'll probably end it there. Whee! I'll probably just end it, end it. 
seems a pleasant enough little place. Indeed. If you're here for my wares... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing what? with witches and wizards you've for years. Inspired and I've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Oh, I don't look sad. So maybe chill the fuck out. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. No, no, please. Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. In fact, no, uh, don't pin me. Uh, just don't do it. Actually, in fact, I might just break your cards. Fuck you. Alright. Anyway. Oh, weird. What can I do with these things? Lumos. Repair it. Hmm. Not much by the looks of it. Was, uh, that was quite nice today. Didn't do as much as I kind of hoped, but, you know, whatever. We did stuff. Things happened. Actually, kind of amazed how that changed from controller layout on the right to not controller layout. I hope everybody had a nice night. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. And, uh... What do you call it? We're watching the Blair Witch Project on Sunday. Should be a fun time. Should be should be interesting. <laughs> oh, Alright. Anywho. Have a nice night, everybody. See you.